Hi, this is John Paul from Cisco Tech. In this video, I will be going over the procedure to verify the validity of the Manufacturer Installed Certificate, also known as MIC, on Cisco IP phones. All phones by default are pre-installed with a Manufacturer Certificate, which cannot be deleted or regenerated. The MIC cannot be used once the validity is expired. Cisco recently released Field Notice 70496, which states that Cisco IP phones might fail to operate correctly due to the Manufacturer Installed Certificate being expired. This can result in authentication failures with 802.1x integrations and VPN connections using MIC on a firewall like an ASA. Expired MICs can also affect secure device registration in CUCM clusters using MIC mode. Currently, there is no automated way for us to check the certificate expiration on all IP phones. So we need to manually download the certificate from the phone and view the certificate to see when it expired. If we log into the publisher CLI and run the command shown, we can see that it returns no results. First, we need to enable troubleshooting on the phones. From the publisher's admin webpage, navigate to device and then phone. Find and select the phone whose certificate you want to retrieve. On the phone configuration page, navigate to the certificate authority proxy function or CAPF information section. Set the certificate operation to troubleshoot, set the authentication mode to by null string, and the operation complete state must be by a date in the future. Click save and reset the phone. Once that device has re-registered, scroll down to verify that the CAPF operation status shows troubleshoot success. I also did the same operation on two other phones. Now, log into the CLI of the publisher and run the command shown to list the certificates associated with the phones we set troubleshoot on. Certificates that contain the characters M1 will be the manufacturer installed certificate. Certificate that contain the characters L1 will be the LSE, and this will only be shown if phones have LSE installed on them. In this case, we can see three MICs on the three phones I set the troubleshoot an option on, and none of the phones have LSE installed on them. In order to download the certificates, run the command file get active log slash cm slash trace slash capf slash sdi slash sep star. An SFTP server is required to save the file. Next, enter your SFTP server credentials. We can see the transfer completed successfully. I can then pull up the specified directory of the SFTP server and see the certificates are saved. These are the three certificates from the phones I set the troubleshoot option on. They can be identified by their MAC address. I can see this MIC expired in 2017. This MIC is valid until 2025. And this MIC is valid until 2024. The phones can also be set to the troubleshoot option in bulk using the bulk administration tool. From the publisher's admin webpage, navigate to Bulk Administration, Phones, Update Phones, and then Query. Hit Find to list all the phones in your system, and then click Next. Scroll down to the CAPF section. Check the box for Certificate Operation and set it to Troubleshoot. Change the authentication mode to by null string. And lastly, set the operation completes by to a date in the future. Scroll down and select Run Immediately under Job Description and then hit Submit. You can view the status of the job by going to the Job Scheduler. Hit Find and check the job status there. We can see that the job is completed. If I click on the job ID link and then the log file link, I can see the details of the job and if anything failed.
If you need to do these jobs in batches, you can also do it by phone models. Select the device type, select contains, then enter 79 to see all of the 7900 series model phones. Click next and do the same steps to set the CAPF operation to troubleshoot. Thank you for watching.